Oh my. Where on earth am I? Somewhere pretty dark at any rate. Pretty dark? It's as dark as Peter's are. As I ail. And I can't get my things. That snotty little miss has your lamp anyway, you expert. There's something strange. It feels like, sort of, elongated. Like a gnarled, forked branch. Maybe I can use it for something. Hmm. There's an indentation. A crack or something. I can wedge this forked branch, or whatever it is, into the gap. I'll just use it as a lever. Something moved a bit there. I'll try again. Now we're talking. Oh boy, dark again already. And again, no lamp. Before I do anything here, I need some light. Hmm, looks like a torch. It's just not burning. And why should it? Hmm, good idea. But unfortunately, Joffrey's stilts won't get me high enough to reach the torch. It won't work like that. Good grief. We have light. A mosaic in the floor. Looks like a labyrinth. Someone sure went to a lot of trouble. Maybe not. A lever. A stone slab. Slightly higher than the rest. A stone slab. Slightly higher than the rest. Locked. I guess I probably have to go that way. Thanks to gravity, the way I came in is currently out of the question. A stone slab. Slightly higher than the rest. Maybe not. Uh, guys, a bit of help required here, please. Have you read the inscription up there? It says, Only three of the same mind and three with the same step are worthy of leaving. Perhaps that's got something to do with those three pressure plates there. Ah, the slab is sinking into the ground completely. An inscription, it says, only three of the same heart and the same step are worthy of leaving. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. The stone slab is moving a bit. Would you go stand on that slab over there, please? Yeah, I know you're not as heavy as I am, but I'll think of something. The slab sinks just a little bit. I think in this case, another item would fit better. Hmm. 
No, I think this item might be useful later. I think in this case, another item would fit better. Would you go stand on that slab over there, please? Yeah, I know you're not as heavy as I am, but I'll think of something. Ah, the slab is sinking into the ground completely. The slab sinks just a little bit. Ah, the slab is sinking into the ground completely. <laughs> the statue of a knight. Maybe that's one of the three members of the order shown in the icon images. The statue of a knight. Maybe that's one of the three members of the order shown in the icon images. A symbol. Looks like an ornate H. Seems familiar. I think that's one of the symbols I found on the icons in the church. The statue of a knight. Something strange about this one. The face is somehow distorted. Looks like it's rotting. Yuck! How did I end up here? It's an Acropolis. A mass grave. Rotting corpses. How wonderful. If you imagine a place which is as far from heaven as possible, well, a bone bed deep underground is going to be right up there. Why would I want to do that? It won't work like that. Why would I want to... It won't work like that. Too high up. I can't reach it from here. I can't do that.
Something's missing, I think. Finally! A tomb? There's something engraved in antiquated speech. The outcast who found death and the fires of angels for the kingdom of heaven on earth. That explains the necropolis. Fire of angels? No idea. So I'm here. And now I know where that trapdoor in the floor leads. I beg your pardon? I got in your way. I locked you up in a sarcophagus. I even sealed the sarcophagus. And you? How dare you? Yeah, but why? That was weird. Oh, all right. I thought it was just me. I said this beast is... was diabolical. And what do we do with a dead goat? Can we just leave it lying here like that? Not a good idea. Greta's after you anyway. Now, if a dead scapegoat appears here in the center, she's sure to find a way to blame you for it. Although she wasn't completely wrong. Not helping, Azael. We could bury the goat. <laughs> you want to dig a hole capable of holding this monstrous goat with your bare hands? <laughs> hello, traveler. Uh, hello. <clears throat> nice day, isn't it? Not for the goat. Yeah, but that's how it is with old age. When you die of old age. Aha. Uh -huh. Would just be too bad if it were found here. Yeah, that would really be too bad, right? <laughs> so it's probably better if I clear it away. Luckily, I didn't see what happened to it. What? Sometimes that can be a good thing. When you haven't seen anything. I mean, you didn't see anything either, did you? Me? I didn't see anything. What am I supposed to have seen? Correct answer. Then neither of us saw anything. I'll take care of the goat. See you next time. Always nice doing business with you. What deals? Quiet, Talarel. He's getting rid of the goat. Now don't mess it up. Better if you get out of here and take that piece of the blueprint to Bloomford. Bloomford, I finally got the piece of the blueprint the rat took. Here, take it. Excellent, my boy. Oh my goodness, you actually did it. The blueprint is whole again. Fantastic. Then we should have all the pieces together. Give me your notebook. Now, let me have a look. Hmm. Oh. So, in principle, all we need now is the aerothermal unit. The what? The aerothermal unit. The thing which makes the flying machine fly. 
So we need a silk balloon. Then all we need is a burner. And finally, we'll need the gas. It isn't really all that difficult. Why do we need gas for the flying machine? For the burner. Uh, but that might prove a bit tricky. Why? Well, you see, I built a gasometer in the old haunted mill. A what? A gasometer. A container for gas. The problem is, well, well, it blew up in spite of my having added a non-flammable gas additive. A what? Honestly, lad, we need to work on your general education. I had added something to the gas to prevent it from burning, but obviously not enough. At any rate, some of the gas should still be there. If so, it has probably accumulated under the ceiling because it is lighter than air. Here, Take this. What is that? A portable gasometer. You simply find the gas in the mill and then use this to siphon it off. Then you bring it to me, I remove the additives, and we have our fuel. We need a balloon made of silk? Yes. We fill it with hot air and use the thermal lift. It must be made of silk so that it is light enough and it must be large enough to carry the flying machine's weight. And where can I get a balloon made of silk around here? I would ask my Lynn, the silk seamstress. Where can we get a burner? Yes, I had one once, but Greta took it away from me. Maybe we'll just get that at the very end. That way we can avoid unnecessary trouble. I'll be going then.